Hi, my name is Stephanie, and today I'm going to be doing a video, uh, we'll see how this goes. Basically, I'm going to be trying some of your favorite stims. So I'm really excited about this. I've never really realized how interesting it is to try other people's stims. I've noticed that sometimes when I've tried other stims, I've actually kind of picked them up for myself. <laughs> So uh, I thought it'd be fun to try some of your guys' stims. Okay, so Natasha says she doesn't have a favorite stim, but she has a few which she does. So one of them is rocking back and forth while sitting down, which she's found is common, which it is. But I'm going to go ahead and do it because I enjoy this one. Of course, my seat is going to make lots of noises, so it's not as fun. I'll stop doing that now. Um, <laughs> one of them is standing, so we'll get back to that. And then making repetitive movements with an object. Uh, that she's holding, for example, twirling a pencil around in my hand. So we're gonna try to do... Okay, so I know some people are super good at this, but like, I'm only sometimes good at this. Sometimes I'm okay at that. <laughs> okay, some of these are so specific. Alright, so Toby says bouncing a leg or two up and down repetitive, repetitively is probably my go-to stim. Um, I'll do it. I don't know. I'm not gonna like show me doing it just because that's kind of weird to be like close up of my leg. But believe me, I'm doing it right now. It's something I do like all the time too, so I can... I can get with that. Alright, so here's a, a different one from Toby. Quickly rotating an arm clockwise and counterclockwise on its axis. Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I'm gonna scoot. So I'm assuming we're talking about moving our arm so clockwise and is this is this the axis? Or is what's the axis? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's try that. Alright, so we're I'm I'm assuming we mean like from the shoulder. So clockwise and counterclockwise, like this, and then I like to just go in one direction, but is that what they mean? I don't know. That one's okay, it's just very, um, I don't know. It feels like I'm like locking my shoulder, I don't like that one too much. I used to touch my nose often as a habit I picked up from someone else. I used to do that all the time actually. Uh, my dad, he pinches the bridge, bridge of his nose, but I used to always like kind of touch my nose and I would like leave it there. Um, and I started to try to like pull that away because um, Justin actually was one of the people who picked up on me doing that and he didn't really enjoy it but it did often feel kind of like a safety guard from people. I also like to pet soft cloths and anything furry when I get the chance. I guess you could say swimming in cold water is an exhilarating stim. Floods the body with senses, finally making rhythmic sounds using successive fingers tapping on a desk. Okay, so first things first. I'm sure I have something soft in here. This is pretty soft. It's like a decent amount of soft. It's like not, it's okay. But when I see things in the store that look soft, I have to touch them. I just have to feel how nice they feel. It's just me. All right, and then um, I'm not gonna go swim in cold water. <laughs> And rhythmic sounds using successive fingers tapping on a desk. I have something near me. You're just gonna have to rely on the sound. My apologies. This is something I do all the time, actually. Um, but usually, yeah, it's, it helps if it's a natural sort of thing. Like, I want to do it in the moment. But uh, I've noticed that I've picked up almost like moving my fingers like I'm playing the piano, but usually in beat to like something that someone would be doing on the drums. I've convinced so many people that I play the piano without trying. I don't. <laughs> I should learn. Anyway, yes, I do enjoy the tapping. It's It's got to stop now, though. So Clint here says they do uh, similar things as Toby, enjoys feeling different textures of clothing, soft but sometimes scaly. Sorry if you're a vegan. I'm not, so it's all good. Um, we have a lot of alligator stuff from where I'm from. I don't eat the critters, though. I've actually eaten alligator before <laughs> at a fair. I thought I had something that reminded me of something kind of like the alligator-y fill, but I don't know where that went. Here's something kind of, it's not really, but this is one of those New Testament things by the Gideon people, um, right? Yeah, the Gideons International. I, I don't know why I have it, but yeah, so feeling this stuff right here. Uh, I think I like the bigger scales, like the bigger textures, This the little textures I'm not a fan of. Of course, I like soft things. 
Oh my, Veronica's post looks big from here. So mine have changed over the years. Now at the ripe old age of 46, I hide my stems pretty well and nowadays they're limited to my arms and hands. It's usually when I'm stressed in professional meetings by listening to a lot of hot air while smiling pleasantly. Nice. I keep my hands in my lap under the table and press my left, this is my left, left palm extra hard between my right thumb and other four fingers. No, left palm between my right thumb like this, like this, maybe? Maybe like this, because that's the palm, right? And this is, <laughs> I'm not good at written instructions, apparently. With all the fingers of my, what? Wait, hold on, okay. And press my left palm extra hard between my right thumb and other four fingers whilst, whilst encircling my right, pressing thumb with all the fingers of my left hand. What? I am confused. <sighs> I don't understand. Okay. Wait, hold on. I will try this. Encircling my right pressing thumb with all the fingers of my left hand. Left hand. Okay. Like this? Maybe like this. I'm thinking like this. Because encircling thumb, right? Left hand. But pressing between these. So I'm thinking like this. It's not bad. Noticeable movements for anyone to remark on, but it greatly relieves my inner pressure. When driving, I notice I regularly make a claw shape with my sorry, left hand when annoyed by other drivers. And this stops me muttering under my breath usually, but not always. So um, I usually like dig into the steering wheel so I can, I can relate to this. But when alone at home, I make a cooing sound while doing housework by squeezing air into the side of my cheek. What? Okay, am I the only one who doesn't understand what cooing is supposed to be? Coo cooing to me makes, makes me think of literally saying coo like that. <laughs> I don't think that's what that's supposed to mean. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> by squeezing air into the side of my cheek. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know if we're making sounds like by doing it. That's more humming. I don't know how to coo, I'm sorry. Someone has to tell me how to do this. Finally, the one I've never noticed but my son brought to my attention is my habit of making slight swimming movements with my left forearm. So this is your forearm. This is my left, all right. And swimming, oh, I bet you this is what it is. And hand by rotating it counterclockwise as I walk. This way? This way. Oh, like this, okay, maybe like this. Mostly when we're traveling or walking somewhere and I'm in a rush, he laughs and said, mom's swimming in the air again. I do this thing a lot, but I could, let's see, counterclockwise while you're walking. I feel like I've done stuff like this like this, I'm assuming. Uh, I think that's gonna be more fun for people to be like, wow, Stephanie doesn't know how to follow instructions. <laughs> Francis says, mine are mostly covered above. My daughter rocks her whole body very vigorously against her bedroom wall. We've lined it with pillows. It's so vigorous, she has knocked dishes off the kitchen bench on the other side of the wall. She's done it since she was nine or 10 months old. So your girl actually is very big on the whole um, stimming, like full body, like, stem but my husband is actually pretty worried about me breaking things he's not so worried about me he's more worried about me breaking stuff so I, I probably can't do that more than that um i do like a wailing moan sometimes when i'm especially distressed i find it very calming but i usually go for a drive so as not to be observed a wailing moan shoot i don't know what that means either maybe like that because i do that too i'm actually a pretty vocal stimmer but I'm just not sure what this means. I have a lot of verbal stims. Hey, me too. I make lots of nonsense words with guttural and palatal consonants. Let's run into more of Stephanie doesn't have a clue what that means. Glum, 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 bluck, glum, 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 etc. Glum, 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 Because palate, isn't that the top part? Glum, 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 bluck, glum, glum, glum. Glung, glung. Is that what I'm doing? I will actually probably, if I keep doing this, get stuck in a 
seeing. So tracing infinity signs with my eyes on a wall or ceiling. Okay, that was bright. Should not have looked right into the light. All right, so I'm gonna try it. So I know that some people are really good at visual stimming. I'm trying it. I don't know if you can tell that I'm trying it or if I'm just being a weirdo. Ow. I mean, it feels very rhythmic, but I'm starting to remove my head, so that might be part of it. That's interesting. I also noticed that there's like little things where all sorts of things are happening, and it's a visual stim like thing. I don't like it because I feel like getting like I'm stuck getting stuck in it. So, even though it's probably like something that I easily get into, if that makes sense. So Hannah says, I love iridescent things and have as long as I can remember. Speed in stores and look at things and been. Really sad to have to leave them. My parents spank so consequences quickly got me dissociative and or obedient. I still do that a lot and choose my phone by picking glitter cases until one matched an affordable price. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking. So I was thinking about things that are iridescent and of course CDs, right? So like I do really like these, especially because like, okay, y'all, I can enjoy it through the viewfinder with you. Like weird it shows up a little bit differently in the camera but like just like the different it's nice it's one of those visual stims it's just nice Amanda says I don't know that I do stimming per se but in different situations depending on what's going on in my head I will do a tonal hum that vibrates at a pleasant frequency through the bones in my head so I'm assuming that's just like a hum that will vibrate the part of your head that you want it to, I guess. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> I can't get it to do it. Am I just dumb? Do I not understand what she's talking about? I can make some vibrations go through somewhat by doing my teeth, but like I'm not getting the sensation that I imagine she's talking about or play with my knuckles and squeeze one hand in the other, so like this. I've seen a lot of people do this one. I just don't like my, I like to pop them like that way. I don't really like pushing them too much in. Or if I'm really distressed, head banging can happen or biting my nails. I'm not a nail biter. I don't, yeah. I don't like the sensation of, I don't like, I don't like the sensation of my nail in my teeth and a uh, head banging probably would be disturbing for you to see on camera, so I'm not gonna do it, but I have done it. Gina says, I like pinching myself lightly a lot. It sends many sharp, quick signals that soothe me without hurting my skin. I'm not sure that I like pinching. It does send signals, that's for sure. It's almost like, now, Gina, do you like, enjoy the feeling of of when like your leg or your arm or something falls asleep and then you have to like use it again because that's what that feels like to me and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that one. Casey says singing. I asked anything or way in particular. He said long loud and on tone. I love singing Christian stuff. Well I can't promise that it's gonna be on tone but I can try to sing something. He's an on time God. Yes he is. He's an on time God. Yes he is. He may not come when you want him but he'll be there right on time. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. Again, sorry about that, but there you go. Sarah says, hair twirling. Can do, can do, let's, let's do it, hair twirling. Playing with a pen, playing with jewelry, rubbing fingers and blowing up cheeks. Uh, playing with a pen, let me find you, uh -huh. have you found, okay. So we did the pencil like this earlier, and there is another person who uh, is very specific about how they play with their pen. I will do that one later. Playing with jewelry. I got some jewelry to play with. This actually is mostly me just trying to fix it because I like this to lay on the top and it doesn't. And yeah, I've, I've, I'm doing it. <laughs> I also adjust these a lot except for once they're adjusted. I'm more of an adjuster with that. I want to adjust it back to where it belongs. Unless if it's on my neck. If it's on my neck, it's probably in my mouth. Rubbing fingers. Rub our fingers maybe like this or how are we rubbing fingers? Are we rubbing fingers? What do we mean? 
and blowing up cheeks. That's something I do a lot. My husband's like, you know, that's not flattering, and I say, I don't care. So here we go. <laughs> Nara says, fidget cube has different textures and things on each side, or fidget spinner is my go-to. I actually just recently got this fidget ring. So like you can stick your finger through it and do this. This is amazing. I love it. Okay, so we have this lovely thing and then we have this, this is like a joystick. And this has these thingies and then it has like this little metal scrolly ball thing. And this thing I don't like as much cause you have to like use pressure and turn it. And it's okay. These ones make sound, the middle one does not. And this one is actually my favorite. Like I don't think, can you see this? It's like a little indention, but it's actually really smooth. And doing this, like when I'm upset or like sad is just really calming and soothing for some reason. So I really like this. Sorry for the change. My battery died or was dying and I threw it on the charger really quick. So it's hopefully gonna last the rest of this video. Bobby says, well, I try to hide it and make it part of my day. So I'm a school teacher and found cursive on the whiteboard or throwing a doodle art into my writing will really help me to relax. I found that singing can help me a lot, especially in crowded places. I found doing the electro shuffle dance anytime, anywhere is absolutely perfect and tends to be very contagious. Everyone around starts doing it too. All right, guys, we're gonna do the cursive. And cursive, this is where uh, anyone who um, is good at this will be appalled, mostly. I just lost my computer, okay, there it is. Cursive is cool. Uh, yeah, I do like, like, the flowy, I like to, I like the flowiness. Now, after linking me to a bunch of different videos for the Electro Shuffle dance, Bobby also says, the other is sign language. It really helps me to sign everything. It's calming to me and I use it to study. Also, somehow it helps me retain what I'm learning. I use it as often as I can. Fun story, I actually used to somewhat study sign language. That was in like fifth or sixth grade though. Maybe even younger. I think fifth or sixth though. I have forgotten pretty much everything, but I remain knowledgeable about the alphabet. And actually, when I hear people say things, I tend to spell with my hands instead of repeating vocally like you would with echolalia. So, I don't know. Sometimes I just use my hands instead, so I can definitely relate to that. I know how to say, like, isn't this like? I like something. Um, I don't remember the rest. Sometimes I'll use things for hearing, but I think a lot of times I modify it to literally whatever, so. <laughs> this girl was saying cheesy on the TV at this place, so <laughs> every time she said it, I was like, cheesy, uh, but that's not necessarily like professional. Muppet Jedi Sparkle Feet, I think, <laughs> says, I have so many favorites, squishing those foam squishy toys, fidgeting with Chewy Gems hand fidget or realm ring, fidgeting with a super smooth hematite rock, or having anything silky smooth on my lips and face, swinging my legs when I'm sitting, rocking side to side, running the tip of my finger over my thumbnail. I'm assuming like this, because I do that. Or like, okay, here we go, like that maybe. Uh, or my thumb over my fingernails. So I don't have a lot of these things. I just have like this. I don't know what Chewy Gems uh, fidgets are like. I know that Indie Andy has done stuff on Chewy Gem and so has Invisible Eye. But I can relate to having like something smooth. I'm not gonna put it on my face right now because I'll get my makeup everywhere. But like this, the other day I was rubbing it on my face because it's really smooth and it just feels better for me. Uh, rocking side to side, I'll be doing this standing as well later, but here enjoy the squeaking of my chair. <laughs> I like, I don't know, I have to do like the head movement with it too for some reason for it to be nice for me, I don't know why. Swinging my legs when I'm sitting. Yes, okay, so. This is a great sound. I love this sound. By the way, that's sarcasm. Anyway, I do that. I got caught doing that a few times and got some stares, but oh well. 
Zelda Hime says, sounds interesting. I love rubbing my hands and feet on smooth and soft surfaces, watching intense, colorful, and moving lights such as fiber lights, some flashing toys, Christmas lights, or some videos on YouTube without very defined images, preferably in the dark. Lava lamps aren't colorful enough for me, so you seem to be a very visual stimmer. Uh, especially bluish or darker colors, those closer to white tend to bother my eyes. Listening to some music I like, or particular snippets of them on loop for quite a while. I love the feel of warm water completely covering areas of my skin, that's harder to achieve, but sometimes if I'm nervous I'll just leave my hands under tap water anyways for a while, like in a public place, and I just soak my face with warm water whenever I can, it feels so nice, and my feet too, there are special buckets. Uh, made for soaking your feet, so I guess a lot of people like that, yeah. Hi, I'm in my bathroom. We're gonna try the whole warm water thing at my bathroom sink. So that was a fun one. I really like that. It like makes you breathe for some reason. I don't know why. It's like, <sighs> it's very nice, relaxing. Do approve. AJ Space Place says, I like to mess with this Rubik's Cube I always carry around. I don't have a Rubik's Cube. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I have a Rubik's Cube. But if I did, I would play with it. It makes me think of this because you would be like switching all the stuff like um, around, like, that same kind of idea of, like, messing with something, and it's not quite like this, but I'm sorry, that's the best I got. Flying Falcon. <laughs> Loading and unloading the same K31 charger and Mauser, maybe, 98 stripper clip, saying, stimming as high-pitched and a little squeaky as I can, and bouncing my right leg. So, I'm starting with the right leg here. We've done this before. Alright, uh, all right. so you mentioned the stimming thing before in a live stream, so I had definitely been thinking about that when I even first, like, mentioned anything. I will attempt the stimming, um, stimming thing, because I tried it one time and I was like, you know what, I'll try it. Try it on camera for you, Flying Falcon. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna, like, try to build up to it. Stimming, 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 stimming! I think you like that because it's similar to the sounds that you stim to, I think. Um, I make weird faces, obviously, when I try to go that high. <laughs> I don't know. It is, like, fun to, like, make your voice do that, but, like, it hurts my ears. Like, not necessarily just the obnoxious noise I just made, uh, <laughs> in my opinion, my apologies. But, um, like, it's almost like there's pressures, pressure in my ears when I do that. All right, guys, this is like a very dramatic, dramatic looking. Tasha said that when she's standing, she'll do the side to side. So we're going to try side to side, specifically standing. I'm more of a, I guess I'm more of a, oh yeah, by the way, yay, look, it's my, my autism, but it's like an American flag, but these are puzzle pieces instead of stars. So I kind of feel like it's like autism nation, but you know. Also, not my merch. <laughs> I just got it on Etsy. I find myself like doing the like shift to shift like side thing more than that. And then Anna from Spectrum Strong, I don't know how I missed this earlier. She shared a little video of something she was doing to stim and she was walking and she was clicking her little pen. I wish this one was a little more clickier. I like, eh, it's like, I don't know. I like it, but it's like weirdly, like, weirdly stimulating for me. I don't know how. Anyway, I wish it was clickier. Don't you wish it was clickier? I wish it was clickier. It's a little bit dull sounding, but yeah, um, she shared that with us. So here's the part where I make more of a fool of myself than I have already so far in this video. 
I'm gonna try it. Bobby, who shared about the sign language, also suggested the electro dance shuffle thing, electro shuffle dance. Here's the thing. Uh, I don't dance <laughs> for so many reasons. I had to do choreography one time in eighth grade for part of a choir thing. We did a whole performance. It took me the entire year to get the dance sort of down and I still wasn't that good at it. So I'm gonna just do stuff. All right, so he's just like, he's just going for it. I don't, okay, he's like, I can't move my feet like that. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, he's like, he's like swinging. I don't know how to, this isn't working. <laughs> okay, he's just doing things. Okay, we got arms. I can do arm things. I just can't move my, I can't slide. I can't slide. I can do this. All right, we can do this. Oh, 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 what is this? I don't know. Alright, we're just... Okay, this is the best I got, guys. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> He's doing a lot of arm things. So we're doing like... I don't know. Maybe? Ah! I can't move my legs like that! <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, I, I, I can't do this. <laughs> and he, okay, we got this going on. I, I can do this. I can't do the bottom part, though. All right, we're doing this number. All right, we got like this. What is? <laughs> okay, so this dance is super fun. <laughs> um, the thing is, there's so much like coordinated movements that I cannot do worth my life, but it's very fun. It's very fun to watch, very fun to listen to, very fun to maybe bop around to. <laughs> that's, that's all I got, so, I'm sorry. I forgot who it was that said that they stim, they try to do their stims uh, by petting their cat recently. So, you know, like a terror right now. Oh, yeah, she is, she's a terror. There you go. That's that's who I can pet. Oh, you do pet. You pet the blue girl. Well, she's licking my makeup off. I hope you enjoyed this interesting, kind of crazy video. <laughs> Thank you so much for submitting your favorite stims for me to try. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. I try to put out autism-related content on this channel every Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, so if you enjoy that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope that you're having a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!